Happy Monday, everyone. Today we are making a jerk chicken with papaya salsa bowl. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. So here I have a papaya and I'm only gonna use half of it. I'll go ahead and slice it down the middle and then core out the seeds. A papaya is pretty easy to cut because it's so soft, so I wouldn't necessarily worry about like having to like dig your knife into it. It's like butter, I promise you. I'll also go ahead and peel it with a potato peeler. It is so much easier using this as opposed to a knife. Because the papaya is so slippery, it can definitely cause you to slice your hand. And we don't want that. I am just breaking it down to be able to cut it into julienne slices. This is what I am showing you how to do. However, my method, if I was not on camera, would be a little more chaotic. So <laughs> just go ahead and do this instead. What you're going to do is slice it into thin slices. Once you have your slices, you are then going to cut your papaya into julienne pieces like matchsticks, basically. And then once you have that down packed, you can then go ahead and mince it into small pieces and small dices. We're gonna go ahead and place that into a bowl. And I am then going to add some minced garlic, some finely diced bell peppers, red onion, a scallion, some lemon juice, and then I'm gonna add some seasoning. The seasoning that I added was cumin, coriander, garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of salt. Go ahead and pop that in the fridge and allow that to marinate while we work on the chicken portion. In this small blender, I'm gonna add a scotch bonnet, some thyme, green seasoning, lemon juice, a little bit of jerk seasoning, which I make myself, and a little bit of olive oil. And we're gonna blend that until it is smooth. I'm just showing you guys my jerk seasoning, which will be available soon. Stay tuned for that. Once our mixture is blended smoothly, we're gonna go ahead and focus on our chicken. I like to poke my chicken just so that the marinade penetrates the chicken a little deeper than what it typically would. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour that jerk mixture over my chicken and making sure that both sides are coated very well. And we're gonna pop that in the fridge for about 30 minutes minimum, allowing our chicken to marinate. I am then gonna go ahead and place my chicken on this really hot cast iron grill skillet. You can also use a grill or if you have a ninja, use that. And while that is going, we're gonna go ahead and work on our arugula salad, which is really simple. I'm just getting some arugula, some salt, lemon juice, and a little bit of olive oil. And I'm just going to coat that and set it to the side. Then we're gonna flip our chicken and allow it to cook on the other side for another seven to 10 minutes. And once we're done, voila, you're just gonna go ahead and slice that up, add our sauce on top over the bed of arugula and white rice, and you are good to go. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. Let me know if you're gonna try it down below. And let me know what you would like to see next. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.